Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I just want to quickly share with you the morning basket bin for my kindergartner. He's kind of like preschool slash kindergarten. We're kind of at that in-between phase. another video going in depth about each subject that we're talking about with going through kindergarten for him and kind of what resources we're using but I have been seeing a ton of videos that other YouTube homeschoolers use a morning basket so I wanted to implement it and it is a fantastic idea I was kind of skeptical because I mostly just do things throughout the day a little bit here and there with him so we just pick it up as we want to but then I made this basket and I've been so happy with the results of just how easy the flow is in the morning when we have a basket and that they're able to pick and choose things from the basket and it just helps us move the morning process along and I think in the long run it'll really help my kids because this is what we do in the morning the activities are ready to go I can tweak it as I need to or as we show interest in different things so yeah I just want to show you really quick what we do with our morning basket it's probably about a half hour to an hour length of teaching and like focused um, attention probably closer to the half hour than the hour mark sometimes we'll do a little bit and then we'll take a break you know usually one of them has to go to the bathroom or needs a snack so there's always something coming up and then we just kind of go come back to the morning basket a little bit later um, right now it is 10 o'clock in the morning we've already completed everything I would possibly want to out of the morning basket at this point we haven't done everything in the basket but Lyric and Lincoln both have actually tackled quite a few things so that's why I'm very happy with the results of having this basket and I think later in the day if I want them to utilize the basket again I can be like hey go check out the morning basket and grab something to do from it and that will be a really great resource for them and as well as for me so let's get into what's inside the basket this is our morning bin here is a pencil for you oh no so the morning bin has the activities that we're working on so right now we are making ornaments so lyric filled them with dried flowers and we just have to put the strings on them to hang them so that's the activity that we have to finish I just picked a random box that I had sitting around the house and filled it basically till I was satisfied with it with all of the random things around the house in terms of projects I have lyrics time and money cards ready to go I put this little plastic thing in here for sorting like if we're counting anything he's got his handy dandy notebook as he sometimes just likes to start writing stuff making notes to himself I've caught him labeling things in his room like his drawers where his t-shirts are and stuff um, so I just kept his little notebook in here this has been his newest um, notebook that he's really really into we've got our Christmas wish list right now because we have to write a letter to Santa to include with our wish list so he's written what he wants we just need to write Santa a letter oh wow did you do the octopus maze good work right now he is working in his pre-k jumbo workbook and we've discovered that it has stickers, but he really likes to do the mazes. He's very good at them. And then I've put in a book for Lincoln, which is, it's a more challenging maze book, but Lincoln likes to color it because it has tractors. So this is mostly in here for Lincoln to keep him occupied. We have in our morning bin is these are the stars that are part of our seed packet activity. This is another Christmas craft. So we got marigold seeds and Lyric is writing on the seed packets. So in another video we collected the marigold seeds and Lyric was super into that. And now I bought these seed packets for Christmas time. So we're going to be gifting these at Christmas to family and friends. And they are, he's labeling them with the word marigold. 
So he's practicing the word, mar writing marigold over and over again. And we've been doing this for a few days now and he is super pumped about it. Like he likes, this is like his go-to morning basket choice. He likes to do this thing like very first. And yeah, he's e we've given him the task of doing five a day, but he's choosing to do more and more each day, which is really encouraging. We're doing five seed packets a day so he gets used to writing in a very small space. We seal them and then we put a sticker on the back. Then we have our little beginner's Bible book and just something to start reading out of every morning a little bit. Which is new for us to add me reading to him in the morning, but I'm hoping it will help encourage him to do his own reading a little bit more. Um, this one has some great pictures in it. It was just a really great starter one, I thought. Really big print, and I thought that Lincoln would be into looking at, at it as well. So yeah, just something to get us started first thing in the morning in a really positive and faithful direction. I have the reading lesson book, which I have a whole video if you're interested, uh, where we compared the reading lesson to the teach your kid to read in 100 easy lessons. This is the one we ended up going with and Lyric is almost done it at this point. We are in chapter 17. He is doing phenomenal with his reading. So I think after we complete this one, I might try and find a higher level or we'll, maybe we'll just switch over and go get the 100 easy lessons we'll see how he's feeling but sometimes we read from this and sometimes we just go pick some books off the shelf but if i feel like we really just need some focused um reading time this is definitely my go-to choice and then as we're going i'm just writing the words that he has the most trouble with and then we ref we kind of do a refresher and cover those words again and we, this is a done one, but I find that I am writing new ones, you know, every couple days for him where I'm writing the words, I'm writing the numbers out at, in like words and in the number forms and getting him to match them. And we're practicing familiarizing ourselves with the numbers being written in both ways. And I also have his pre-K math practice book yep. that we have. That's what I need to own my iPod shuffle. That's right. So Lyric asked for an iPod shuffle and I told him that when he finishes this whole pre-K math book that he could earn an iPod shuffle. He wants yeah. to be able to listen to his own music. So this is his math book, which has been very slow to get going. I definitely have to sit with him to do this, but we have started quite a few of the activities and he is really good at them as well once you sit once I sit down with him, which makes me so happy to be homeschooling him, like the fact that I can spend the time with him and we can kind of go at it at our own pace and and take the time with it is just really comforting so that I know that he understands it. And the concepts that we cover, like patterns, we've been talking about patterns in other things too, like um, this show number blocks has patterns and then when we're building with stuff, I do some pattern work. So it's kind of nice that even though like this is the next page that we're going to do is the pattern thing is that we've talked a bit about it because I am part of the process and I know what he's learning and, and what I want him to learn next. Then I also just have a whole bin of scrap paper because I find I am constantly writing things for him, trying to explain things, or if we're writing our numbers, it's great just to have a whole tub of scrap paper, pick your, pick your flavor, and then Lincoln also is really into coloring and drawing right now, so just having scrap paper available for them to color on has been fantastic. Along with this huge tub of all sorts of coloring that seems to come out every day. I had a craft table going. If you guys want to see our craft table mayhem, maybe I'll do a video about that next. Thanks so much for watching.